Hello everyone. Welcome to Radiology Everywhere YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about simple pulmonary eosinophilia or Loeffler syndrome. Loeffler syndrome is a type of pulmonary eosinophilia typically present with three features: transient radiographic infiltrates, minimal constitutional upset, and an elevated eosinophil count in peripheral blood. If a patient present with these features, you have to consider about simple pulmonary eosinophilia or Loeffler syndrome. In many cases, you cannot find an underlying cause, but there are number of allergens associated with Loeffler syndromes, including parasites, as examples Ascaris, Strongyloids, and Ancylostoma, and even drugs including aspirin and penicillin. When considering plain X-ray or CT, the changes are fleeting, non-segmental air space opacification, and this air space opacification can be unilateral. or bilateral and predominantly peripheral in distribution especially in upper and middle lung zones and you can see the ground glass opacities or consolidations and you can also see single or multiple acina nodules and you can observe resolution of these opacities within days to months according to the definition of this disease pleural effusions and lymphadenopathy are not features of this syndrome when considering treatment and prognosis usually this is a self limiting and treated conservatively and typically resolve spontaneously within a period of 1 month time and and rarely you can see the complications of a restrictive type cardiomyopathy developed from endomyocardial fibrosis and when considering the general radiographic findings the differential diagnosis can be a recurrent aspiration or pulmonary hemorrhage or pulmonary vasculitis or even cryptogenic organizing pneumonia so today we discuss about simple pulmonary eosinophilia or loeffler syndrome if you like the video you can like it comment it and share among your friends and if you are not subscribed yet you can subscribe to radiology via youtube channel and click the bell button we will see you soon with another important radiology video thank you bye bye